Hi, this is Jody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you a couple of projects made with the new vellum stack. It's called Sheer Perfection. And it's one of the new options during March for the Stampin' Up! Celebration promotion. So there's lots of different patterns here. This is a six by six pad, just so you're aware. And I wanna show you a couple of things you can do with it. Just a quick review, Celebration is when you spend $50, when you place a $50 order, you get to choose anything out of this Celebration catalog for free with every 50 you order. For March, they've done something extra special. There are four new items. There's a stamp set, some twine and buttons and an accessory pack. And then this new Sheer Perfection vellum that I just showed with a stamp set that coordinates. It's called Nature's Perfection. So these work really nicely together. Some of the same images from the stamp set are in the pack of vellum. So a couple of quick and creative cards to show you. Um, my card base is Whisper White. It's eight and a half. Oh, excuse me. My card base, I forgot that I did this a special way. My card base here is four and a quarter by five and a half. This piece is five and a quarter by eight. So what I'm going to do when I fold this is it's going to make the card open on here. So I wanted that crushed curry around the edge. I wanted that border, but then the white is what will actually open into the card. Okay, so that's something fun to do. In all honesty, the reason I had to do this is because I didn't realize how low I was running on crushed curry. So that was a way that I improvised to do this card with my card club the other night. So here is the pattern that I have from the Sheer Perfection Vellum Stack. You can kind of see when you set it down, maybe on this white would be better. So when you set it down on here, you can flip it to see both sides. So this looks a little bit lighter than when you go this way. It's not much, but you can just see that there is one side that's intended to be the front. So what I'm going to do is layer this with some crushed curry and then basic gray underneath that. Now you could leave it like this so that you see that crushed curry or whatever solid cardstock you wanted to put behind it. What I'm going to do is add something um, special to that with some designer paper. So I'm going to go ahead and use my snail adhesive to attach this onto here. And then I'm going to slip this little square. This piece is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And so that's exactly the same size that I cut the patterned paper. This is another celebration option. This is the best year ever designer series paper. So it's double sided like all of them. And what I'm going to do is just attach this over it so that you see that fun pattern come through on the flowers. Now when I attach the vellum, I can go anywhere with my adhesive where you see the darker gray or black. So I don't want to do it in this area where it's open, but any of those other dark spots, you're not going to see the vellum through there. That's probably good. And then, like I said, it's the same size, so I just want to line it up right over it, push down in those spots, and then just do regular adhesive on the back here and attach it to these layers that I've already done. Okay, so then I'm going to take some crushed curry ribbon and just wrap it around. Try to get my ends relatively even here. Just a quick tip, this is how I tie bows. I often get questions how I do that, so I'll just show you. I cross them like this, so my right one is on top of the left, and I tuck that down, and then instead of pulling like you would your shoelace like this, I pull perpendicular, so I want it really tight there. I pull it straight up and down. Pull it tight, make the loop, bring it around from the top, and just stick that other piece through and pull it tight. So it's an easy way to get a nice flat laying bow. So what I'm going to do is just scoot that over to the side a little bit and maybe just scoot it down a little bit too. And then I can use my scissors to trim the ribbon, give it some nice edges. And then this piece is just going to get attached onto the white card, which then goes on the crushed curry card base. 
And the very last thing I'm going to do is to take a basic gray ink pad and happy birthday from Sassy Salutations and just stamp that image right at the bottom. So that's one of the samples that I wanted to show you with the Sheer Perfection Designer Vellum. Another one I want to pull in is this one that I did. Another sheet, or a piece rather, of the vellum is with butterflies. You can see the different shapes of butterflies here. And I'm going to pull in just real quick this piece of white to set it on here. And this is what I was showing you before. When you set it one way versus the other, you can tell which was intended to be the front and the back. I don't know how clear it's going to come through on the video, but in person you can see that this is lighter, where if you put it on this side it's more vibrant. So for this technique, what you want to do is color, in fact, on the back. And I'm going to pull in a few markers. I have Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pear Pizzazz. And there's not anything particular about the colors that I'm using. Um, in you know certain spots, I'm just coloring the butterfly. I usually use the brush end just because it goes faster but I just want to color over the butterfly on the back and just kind of vary the colors that I use so they're spread out evenly. You can use two different colors on the same butterfly if you want to, but you'll just go through, add all of the color you want, and then instead of putting the vellum directly onto the Coastal Cabana, you can see the obvious difference between these two. This one just stands out so much more by adding this simple layer of Whisper White cardstock. So that's all I did on there. So with this one, again, just add that designer paper underneath to give the flowers a pop. This one with the butterflies, you can add color by using markers on the back of the vellum. So two real quick and creative cards with the new Sheer Perfection Designer Vellum. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration or to place an order, visit my blog. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram.